Good evening, YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to mess around with the Type 4 motor a little bit. It's really, really nasty and wet outside. Um, don't want to do anything out there. So I'm going to hang out in the shop and I'm going to try to get my, my oil filter boss put on. I'm going to try to get my uh, uh, oil cooler put on and maybe a few extras. I'm just going to fiddle around a little bit. I've got a lot to do. I've still got to get my thermostat, the thermostat fully put on it, and uh, I might even get started in with some engine tin, some cooling tin today. I don't know, but not one of those uh, really pleasant days. Been a little bit, uh, like I think I've got a little bit of cabin fever, maybe even a little wintertime depression going on. Who knows, but um, hope you enjoy it. Not going to be all that interesting, but I figure, hey, it's something to do. Well, let's go over here to the old uh, parts washer. I keep diesel fuel in my washer. It does a really good job at uh, diesel fuels. If you're going to paint something, if you wash it with diesel fuel, you got to go back with like some paint thinner or whatever because diesel fuel is kind of oily. But well, it's really, it's a really good uh, parts cleaner though, especially like in this. And this, you can see the holes in the bottom of it. You see all that gunk? That's still coming off these bolts. The cool thing about it though is if I leave it in this stuff, when I go to get a nut or a bolt, all these are metric. This is all metric stuff I've taken off of Volkswagens. Um, if you go to get a nut or a bolt or whatever, it's free. doesn't have any uh, uh, grease or build up on it. So I got to dig around in here and get all my nuts and bolts and everything uh, for the work I got to do today so I'm gonna get to it find the find the nuts and bolts and washers that I need so I can get busy working hello youtubers I'm gonna show you the uh, oil filter adapter here we're gonna put it on in just a second you may notice I didn't clean it up too much I cleaned up now all the as far as the internals yeah that's all good and clean uh, this is all covered up I could have done a number of things. I could have polished it if I wanted to, but you'd never seen it, so that would have been kind of a waste of time. At any rate, this oil filter adapter slash oil filter boss, whatever you want to call it, we're going to mount it on the engine right here. I've got the engine uh, surface cleaned up, and I've got my mounting surface all cleaned up. We're going to put a little bit of a, uh, Permatex aviation sealant on this. I'm going to put it on, on the... Uh, the actual adapter and I'm also going to put it on the uh, side that on where the, the surface, the engine surface where it mounts. So I'm, one final thing I'm going to do, you can see this has got just a little bit of uh, garbage on it here. I want to get it cleaned off. I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, starting fluid, spray it on a rag, wipe it down, make sure it's good and clean. The, the main purpose, the main goal is that it seals and seals well because you have a pressure side and a return side and there's going to be oil pressure flowing through this so you need to have a, a really good uh, surface prepared for it to uh, seal against and we'll go ahead and stick this thing on here. Not so much worried about any uh, stains on the aluminum, as long as it's a good clean surface. Okay, looks good to go. If you've never used Permatex Aviation sealant before, uh, I'm just going to tell you this for those purposes. For those of you who have used it, you know what it's like. It's a very, very good sealant, but it has uh, one of its qualities is it, a little bit goes a long way and it will run everywhere. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, I got a little bit interrupted. My memory card got full so I couldn't finish the uh, showing you the where I was putting the, the aviation on the final coat and everything, but you didn't miss anything. So I went ahead and stuck this on here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it tightened down now. Right. 
wrench here. Okay, 13 millimeter. Well, first we want to just snug it down. Got my washers on it, my nuts. Okay, we want to tighten these down evenly. You want to put all your torque on one side. You don't have to put them on super tight. Just make sure you get it, get it good and snug. You need to remember you're working with aluminum here. Not like an old Chevrolet. Uh, we have a cast iron block and so on and so forth. You can put enough torque on uh, an aluminum motor to where you actually you can pull the stud, you know, strip the threads that are in the block, or you can bust the block. You just need to be careful and remember when you're working with the aluminum block. Next, we're going to put on the um, oil cooler. I went ahead and found all my nuts and washers and so on and so forth. These are a little uh, unusual on, on this particular part of the motor. It's got a, a really small stud that's going to hold this this oil cooler on here and one thing it's got a, a little bit of a different washer for these these are specific for this job it's uh, if you can notice normally if you had a washer this size to fit you know that bolt it would be smaller in, in diameter it would be smaller these are made this way and they're a little thicker than a washer like that would normally be they're just a little bit thicker what it is you're, you're taking this piece uh, let me get the cooler here. This is just a shaft that runs all the way through here. Okay? And it has flanges on each side. This is where your gaskets are going to go. They fit in there just like that. Okay? You're taking, it's mounting from here, here to here, and over to here. And you need to make sure that your washer is going to be holding that and keeping the pressure in so it is a, a, a bit of a special washer you can't just use any washer because what it has to do is be able to hold against that tube that's gone all the way through there and they just mushroom the ends out um, just keep that in mind if you're going to put one of these on here a, a normal washer wouldn't come out here far enough it'd be smaller you need to make sure you get all that pressure on there so